So you finally passed your driving test and you're looking to settle into a car where your driving instructor won't be harassing you on your moves. You finally saved enough money from your job at Iceland to finally be able to look at something that you can afford and still drive every day. But make sure not to end up with a car from our list as they are as good as a mobility scooter and you don't want that. Here at CarClick we're going through the five first cars that will end up giving you depression. The factors that we will be going through are looks, reliability, ability to impress, speed and uselessness. In at number 5 is the Mercedes A-Class. Guys, just look at this car. It basically looks like a doorstop, just a fat metal version. Literally, in the scrapyard, they probably used this car as a doorstop. This blacked out version is, I think, a newer model at the time. And it still looks alright, however you do not want to go with the silver or grey models that are available. And guys, this car was round about 1500 on Auto Trader and Facebook Marketplace. Who on earth is paying that crap for this car? Honestly, go get yourself something else. Even get a cycle, you don't want to be seen on the streets with this guys. But moving on, it is a Mercedes at the end of the day. And everyone knows that a Mercedes is always reliable. The engineering will be all right on this car. And as far as I can say, you will end up saving money in the long term. And if you're looking for a car that looks ugly, but drives well, kind of, I don't know. But still, this car might be for you. Moving on to the ability to impress. I'm sorry, but unless you're impressing your grandma who just seen you pass your driving test, then you don't want anyone else to see you. If you pull up in, the, in this whip at uni, you're screwed. Everyone's gonna see you as that kid with the Mercedes A-Class, saying he's got an A-Class, but he has some dingy old A-Class from 2006. Including the other factors, this is what I've given to the Mercedes A-Class as a final score in terms of his shit qualities and good qualities. Moving on to number four is the Honda Jazz. Guys, do I need to explain anything about this car? Just look at it. This is like probably a year old. Like in total, this car, there's so many of them in the market that it's actually unbelievable. Every old lady is driving this car, like spinning it as if some like Ferrari. Cool car, man. What is that, Ferrari? Mate, it's not a Ferrari. It's a Honda Jazz. It looks like a Beetle. Why is it even on the market? A guy told me as my first car, or oh, get a Honda Jazz. I was like, mate, I'd rather drink bleach. And moving on to his performance, this video behind us showing the cinematics of it going really fast and everything. Mate, it's not fast and it will be very, very boxy and uncomfortable on the motorway at high speeds. I can assure you, I've seen so many people on the motorway and the whole Honda Jazz is shaking left to right as if it's about to like blow up or something. In terms of reliability, the car is cheap to insure and cheap to tax. But are you willing to spend another £100 to £500 on some other car? I assure you guys, don't buy this. Buy an iGo, buy a Vauxhall Corsa even. Don't buy this. The only people who should buy this are the Karens at local Tesco's asking for the manager. So overall, the Honda Jazz gets this as a score. I think it's pretty fair regarding everything and let's move on. So in at number three is a Fiat Punta which gets a solid 5 out of 10 because looking at it, it's not too bad of a looking car but if you do end up keep buying this car, it looks like a squirrel and you might as well not even get rid of your Oyster because you might need it later on because for reliability, this car gets a solid 3 out of 10 because most of the time you're going to have to carry on walking to your scummy garage because that's where this piece of junk is going to spend most of its life because the engine is as reliable as a lawnmower and let's be honest <laughs> Argus isn't going to take this back anytime soon is it and let's keep moving let's move on to 6 appeal where this car gets a solid 5 out of 10 that's because if you're lucky your significant other isn't going to leave you out of pity but if she doesn't feel pity on you she is going to leave you 100% that's guaranteed and moving on to speed, this is where this car has flying colours which is 7 out of 10 where it isn't too bad because it can provide smoke to most people on the road and that's, mo that's more than good enough for most prices on the road today. But for uselessness this car gets a solid 7 out of 10 
that's because that's of most of its life is going to be parked at the garage, getting repaired. But finally, once it's actually working and you want to go pick up your friends, they ain't really going to be your friends and you're probably going to end up spending most of your life alone. So as my friend pretty much summed it up, this car is all right in terms of being a Ned on the street and racing at the lights, but for everything else, it's pretty much shit guys, and you want to do better. So in at number two is a Nissan Micra, that, which gets a one out of 10. That's because the car above it, it makes it look like a Mona Lisa compared to that. But not, don't forget the fact this, also, this car also looks like a squatting frog. But the upside to this is reliability, where this car gets a solid 7 out of 10. That's because of its Japanese heritage. This car will last you, last you longer than anything that's on this list ever. And will most likely never give up on you. And will probably last you your whole life. But for sex appeal, this car can ruin that as well. Because it gets a solid minus 2 out of 10. That's because as soon as you name the mention, the name Nissan Micra, your street cred is going down the drain, literally. And get ready to spend your life alone because no one's going to probably want to talk to you after they know you have a Nissan Micra. And the, let's just make this worse for it, which is for speed, this car gets a solid 0 out of 10. That's because, let's be honest, you ain't going to be racing anyone anytime soon or winning any races. That's because you're probably going to be too embarrassed to even show up at the first place. But for uselessness, this car shines because it gets a solid 8 out of 10. That's because it will last you your whole life, which you'll be spending alone, of course. But you probably end up living in it because you won't have a home because no one will ever want to buy you a home. That's why. So get used to that solid Nissan Micra. Drum roll, please. In at number one is the Fiat Multipla. That's because this car, just looking at it, gets a solid minus two. Because unless you're going fishing with your dad, this is not something you want to be seen in. Also, not only is it missing the source, but also it looks like a three-year-old expired turnip. Let's uh, let's keep moving on with the reliability, where this car gets a solid two out of ten. That's because, like its younger brother, the Fiat Punto, it's basically useless. But compared to the Punto, you'll probably be happy for it to be in the garage because that's not something you want to be seen in. Sex appeal. Let's not even give it a score at this rate because this car, you might as well forget it. Because if you do turn up in this, you ain't going to get any action anytime soon with this. And you're probably going to end up spending your whole life alone with five of the seats in the back. Speed wise, this car doesn't get any better because it gets a 1 out of 10 because you ain't going to even be keeping up with anyone on the road. The only thing you can probably be keeping up is, is, with, is a turtle on the road, which is probably even faster than this piece of junk. But this is where this car shines the most, which is uselessness. Where it's a solid 10 out of 10, because that's where this car can get flying colours. Because not only does it look horrible, but it's so useless, you might as well just give your driving licence back. Because you ain't going to be using it for any proper benefit for yourself, are you? Even the advertisement looks fake in the most weird way look at this guy there's no way he bought this car he was forced into this just like this woman into a marriage mate she's not staying this kid just looks like he was found how he's adopted or something yeah but overall fiat multiplier utter trash never see it never buy it don't go near it you might even get infected and that's it guys that's the end of the video you're welcome we just saved you from a lot of hassle so make sure you follow us on instagram at official car click subscribe and turn notifications on